Oh, shit. We got Lou in the building. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. It hasn't started quite yet. It hasn't quite started just yet. <laughs> oh, Lou. <laughs> oh, man. You're a trip. You are a trip, sir. Welcome, 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 everybody. No, that wasn't the beat. I am not. I am not scamming nobody. You know, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not trying to clickbait like that. If I really wanted to make it, you know, clickbaity, I could have had just gotten a a chick to wear a Serato Studio sports bra, riding a llama, and then having her jump into a, a pool of chocolate pudding. Then everybody be on this bit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome <laughs> how's everybody doing dj gans here h-town jj media studios um and lou and you're welcome now the show can begin because lou is here <laughs> how's everybody doing hopefully everybody's doing all right i just realized my chat box is really small there we go me home Oh, nice. They already dropped the sample. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be what I'm going to do. I am going to try to make a track only using a snare. One snare. No pianos. No other samples. Um, I might do like a little palette cleanser um, here in a second. So this was like a project I was working on. So I'll definitely play this one in a minute. Um but I'm gonna, I'm just I'm just gonna get straight into this thing. So, all right, can we get this all prepped? <laughs> now studio wants to be all funky. It's already starting great. Getting the pinwheel pinwheel of death here. There we go. I guess I just have to be very particular on what snare I want to use. So I'm just going to keep everything within Serato's ecosystem because I don't want to hear anybody be like, well, you use the snare from like this other sample pack. Duh, 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 duh. I don't know how some people can be. So let's see here. There is, I'm a little nervous on that one, but I mean, I'll open it up real quick. I know I'm just not biting time here. So they did a drums deck keyboard mode enable to move individual drum notes off grid or change the pitch because i know everyone's been asking about this they're like when are they finally gonna do it and they did it this is snare <laughs> you guys are killing it on the puns holy shit um Fix an issue where the root note does not align to the bottom of the sequence review when project key is changed. Fix an issue where notes out of key aren't visible until the sequence your sequencer view is refreshed. So those are your new updates. Not anything super crazy, but definitely helpful. I know this is like a, a big one right here. This thing right here. So let me minimize that. All right, so where should i get this snare from where oh where let me know in this chat should i get it from decaps sick beats drill you guys let me know you guys let me know i'm actually trying to see again i'm just picking something from from the pack i'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep this like stock as far as the snare sound <laughs> snares are I just need to make a big list of all the funny snares, the snare jokes. But again, shout out to you guys joining in the chat. Besides me trying to not embarrass myself, trying to make a song out of just a snare. Um, if you guys have questions of any sort, you let me know. I'm sure I can do my best to help out. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of cats in here that can help other people. So it's just a big, fun, happy family in here. Yeah, you did start it. <laughs> So, I'm thinking I might go decap. I'm thinking that. That's what I'm thinking. 
Or I can just hit snare. Too late. We're already embarrassed. Yeah, that's true. It's snare. <laughs> okay. So, snare. Damn, even when I just type it in, they can't find it. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Oh, you know what would help? If I do drums. That would help. There we go. That makes more sense. So, what I'm going to do first. Let me delete all these. Because, again, these are all going to be snares. No, there sounds a lot. Okay. So, we have that. We have that. Um... I know the big talk has been the uh, Beyonce house stuff and the Drake snare or <laughs> Drake. Now I'm saying snares for everything. The Drake Jersey Club house thing. Have you heard it at all, uh, Lou? I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. So very sick beats. I'm using the very sick beats snare. That's what I'm going to use. So... Put that there. Put that there. Not enough snare. <laughs> All right. Where I'm going to take this, I'll keep it at 120. See what happens. Okay, so there's a snare. Copy. Oh, let me copy. Paste. Boom, 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 boom. Paint a little snare here, paint a little snare here, paint a little snare here. Okay. So this one I got to turn into a kick. So I would need to adjust this. Okay. There we go. So I'm just adjusting that one. Effects. We put a uh, compressor on that one, parallel. She snared on the beat and the beat got snared. <laughs> so I got to definitely take a lot of the highs out. SFT, what's up? How you doing, man? How you doing? So yeah, I gave myself a goofy challenge. I'm just going to try to use a snare sound to just make this whole beat. So I just made a kick right now. I can you pl use plugins, so if someone g bitches at me about plugins, kiss my ass. <laughs> so I'm trying to use OTT to just get all this. There we go. All right, there we go. We got a kick now. Perfect. Let's keep this simple. Let me go to one. I'll go 92. There we go. Here a little bit. This little. All right. So I got to make this a hi-hat. I'm going to. Again, the way I'm trying to like make these sounds is definitely just adjusting the timing of these chops and just getting little pieces. And then that I'm going to have to EQ quite a bit on the highs. <laughs> you guys are killing it, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Filter. Okay, that's there. So let me try to get a reverb on it. Again, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, but I'm just talking out loud. See if I can come up with something. Okay. I don't want too much snap on that one. So let me change the attack. There we go. Okay. So let me make that eight. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just know what I, <laughs> I should have did it all to this side, all to this side. What am I doing? What are you doing, Gons? You're killing me here, brother. I got to adjust it over here. There we go. There we 
There we go. Again, this is all snare sounds, just letting you know. <laughs> hold on, I gotta give you guys more credit over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So first I'm gonna pop champagne because you guys are absolutely killing it on that. I know that was a lot of shit, my bad. Where's the other one? Hold on. Let me go back and read all the crazy snare jokes. By all means, we could just do it where you guys just throw in snare puns the whole time. So, Call had a, uh, he said it was a snary good time. There's another, there's one there. Um, snares looking at you, kid. Holy shit. Great. Uh, let's see here. Snaring is caring. Perfect. I'm snarely breathing. <laughs> snary special. Um, and then Luce already coming in. Uh, da -da -da. Demands a refund. I won't put it on that one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, turn my snare up. Snare horrific. Snary, snary night. <laughs> Snares are us. Snaring is caring. There we go. <laughs> snare attack the whole shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. These guys are absolutely crushing it. It's <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, so. Snare tactics. Man. I was going to put a whole list. Do that. Change the swing. There we go. So, let me try to do... All right, so with this one, I'm going to reverse it. Reverse. Whoops, wrong side. There we go. Move that over. A little bit more. Yeah, bro. I don't know why I came up with it. I was just like, ah, let me just really push myself. So I can really see if I can utilize this program how I need to. So right now I have it reversed, but I'm just trying to see like what kind of elements I can get with this. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll do a reverb or I'll do a delay. Ooh. Sounds like a little gnat. I don't want I don't want that. I don't want that. Alright. There we go. There we go. I'm going to pan. Oh, you know what? Help. Oh, you know what? I need to stretch this a little further. So I don't have the panning situated. There we go. All right. So I'm going to pan this. There we go. <laughs> so two snares just walked into a bar before they ordered the bouncer told him to beat it day <laughs> nice <laughs> nice keep them coming man keep them coming okay so we kind of have a basis here the aluminum squeezer so with that kick got a kick there let me I'm going to try to do more of a top end kick here. And shout out to SFT. He, he makes dope shit. Dope, dope stuff. So I'm going to pitch this up. do a parallel compressor on this one and I'm trying to do that just so I can try to push more blow in dynamics as much as possible and just stack this over the other kick <laughs> two snares and a cymbal flat out of the back of the truck <laughs> 
but do oh definitely there you go <laughs> okay gonna get a little bit more punch out of that so let me do compressor and a limiter squeezer our cruncher Try to get more of the sample. There we go. I know it's still a very blippy kick, but I'm going to, I'll run with that. Okay. So that, over that a little bit. Over that a little bit. Okay. Oh, I need to bring that down just a little bit. There. Okay, so we have something there. So now with this snare here, definitely gonna have to definitely do a, a micro chop and then adjust this tempo as or adjust the tempo of this sample as much as possible. Whew, that doesn't help. <laughs> Let's change this key shift all the way down. Okay, turn that down there. Did you hear about the snare who caught a case by the feds? They tapped its phone. guys are like what the fuck is going on here okay if you're just joining i'm trying to just make a beat out of just a snare drum so if you have studio and you want to give it a shot before you totally get upset i don't blame you okay so that's there let me do a wub let me try a wub modulator that might work too I'm trying to create some type of kind of frequency that i can run run with Keyboard mode. I'm gonna run with that first. I know it sounds really goofy right now, but I'm going to make it work. Okay. Definitely do a side chain on this. Hard side chain. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what that's what I saw on there. That's what I saw. Okay, I have that. That's there. Now I'm going to start adding some goofy shit. Let's try serum effects first. See what kind of craziness I can come up with this. Okay. And then let me add... Cause that side chain is not working how I, how I would like it to. So let's go to kick starts. Let's try that right there. There we go. for that as well. Let 
There we go. I know someone's like, man, this beat is so basic. Yeah, it is basic because I'm basically using a snare. Hi oh <laughs> I'm gonna come up with my own. <laughs> Alright, so let me duplicate this. And then take off all these here, here, and here. <laughs> this beat would be perfect for the soundtrack of Serato Powers, the beat who snared me. <laughs> you guys are on a roll. Alright, so let me change this, flip the reverse, flip it and reverse it. So let me go to. Oh, shoot. All right. So let's see here. Jackhammer, what's going on? Hold on. Hold on. I got to I got to bring I got to bring people in proper, man. Just got to. What's up? Just trying to make in interesting shit out of just a snare. Whoops, sorry. All right, keyboard. Okay. Instead of boots and pants, it'll be pants and pants. <laughs> nice, pants and pants, absolutely. All right, let me see if I can run it through here. sound than that okay warm bridge oh shit <laughs> that sounds like an 8-bit dog <laughs> all right so let me do echo on this try to add some element to that Let me see if I can turn that into a chord, actually. Kind of like that instead. <laughs> nice one, SFT. That, yeah, that was... <laughs> this B got me wanting to get to stomping in my snare force once. Oh! the snare remix. There we go. Yeah. I knew I was going to find it. All right. There we go. Okay. I just got to figure out how to make another like little the base is what I'm trying to figure out how to how to do right now. So it's gonna definitely got to be <laughs> Man, you guys are on a fucking roll. 
Uh, you got snared, baby boy. <laughs> what did the snare say when it had to leave the party? Sorry, guys. I have to roll a... I'm thinking of joining the snare force. I'm about to snare the yard. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Key shift. Oh, I gotta change the octave. Okay, so let me go back to back to zero on here. Oh, I know why I got to take serum effects off. Go a lower tone there. Get in there, get in there. Sorry, I'm just trying to sound design this shit. It's not easy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Just need to be a long, a little bit longer. Oh, that's why. Snare design, yes, very much so. Very much so. Damn. Okay. I'm just trying to find the tone. Once I get the, once I get the tone, I'm good. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Now I can try to compress the shit out of it. be able to see the chat is uh through my screen on the side <laughs> ah damn it i did add a key okay or just i picked the wrong note on there okay let's try this again here we go we got a baseline yeah let's freaking go i'll make that chat box a little bit bigger yeah the chat box is gonna have everybody on there hopefully you can see that decently there we go boom like that okay. <laughs> well what's funny is i don't have a metronome at all <laughs> so there's a sound in there that sounds like a metronome. Okay, so that's that snare. Alright, so I gotta adjust. Hit it, 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 hit it
Now I gotta try to find a, another lead sound on here. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna copy this in there, take everything off of that, and then figure out how I'm gonna make it. Okay, so that's there. That's there. Um, the genre I'm aiming for is uh, uh, I have no idea. I just know it's nothing but a snare. That's all I'm using. So if you're just joining me, um, the sound I used to make all of this right now is just this. That's it. Just that, just that sound. So all of these are exactly what you see. They're snare sounds. Snare-tastic future... Snare and be... <laughs> Damn, y'all fucking killing it. Love it. Love it. That's a, that, was a, that was a good one, SFT. Straight up. <laughs> oh, speech. speaking speaking of little triplets. <laughs> nice, nicely done. I'm I am very impressed. I am very impressed. Snarly snarly funk, snarly funk. Okay, so let me clear that, clear that out from there. So I gotta try to make a little little top melody. I know definitely want to have some crazy reverb on it. No filter, no filter on it as well. Ooh, that's some crazy resonance. My apologies. Oh, you know what? Let me not reverse it. See if I can turn it into a chord. sound kind of goofy because I have the wrong serum end. Oh shit, sorry about that. I know that was loud. That's what I was looking for. Definitely gotta EQ this low because that's, that's gonna be insane. Okay, that's there. Okay, there we go. I think I got something here. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have to do that. Serum effects is what's kind of messing this up. Come on. Oh, I got to do compressor. That's why. Multi band. I gotta do low cut on that. Low cut on that. There we go. <laughs> we need a snare battle like in Drumline, right? <laughs> you want my solo? Take it. Why is it doing that? I just want to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Oh, I think I know why. Clear that. 
So I'm using this. I'm using it as an effects rack. So this is like a lead synth. And I'm just using the, the chain that it has on there. <laughs> a double, yeah. A d <laughs> double snare. That is so strange why it's doing that after let me take auto cord off. Okay. Let me just try to make it shorter. I just want to hear it. You know what? Let me take, let me switch that out real quick. Yes. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to come up with this interesting sound ideas out of this damn snare. It's definitely much tougher. Playing key, yes. It's <laughs> <Snare auto. laughs> <laughs> Killing it, Lou. And to make that a little bit more interesting, because everything's like kind of in your face right now, I'm just going to have this panning left and right all the way through. <laughs> Snare radar. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. Well played. Well played. I'm going to give you guys all the champagne, man. You guys are <laughs> murdering this. I take it most of you are, are good on a family feud, finding all these things. All these things that are relatable. Come on, Steve. I can figure this out. So now I can, I'm just going to add a side chain to this. <laughs> Snare Harvey. <laughs> All right. Survey says. Okay. I think I have a beat. I think I made a beat with just snares. What's up? That was. That was tough, bro. That was tough. Ain't gonna lie. That was a tough one. So, just to kind of recap this, the first snare is right there. The way I tried to make that was I tried to shorten this as much as possible just to give me the initial attack. Like this right here. That right there. So, I just trimmed it and I had to cut a lot. I had to cut the highs out quite a bit a traffic jam 
turned the gain up quite a bit. Um, then I did a multiband compressor to really pump the low end in. So I cut a lot of the, the highs and I try to keep the mid and lows just so I can have some type of presence of a kick drum. The snare obviously kept it the same. Try to make this a hi-hat, so I added a lot of reverb to it. Cut out lows, mids, did a, a high-pass filter. Turned the gain up quite a bit, but I had to make sure that I, do, I did uh, velocity, velocity changes here to give it some type of uh, flow, not just like a you know just straight stiff eight hi-hat thing. So the shaker panned it, made the filter as much as possible, added a bunch of reverb, a lot of highs, some mids to get that. To add a more punchier kick to get a little bit more in the mid frequencies, pump the hell out of the mids, lows, then added a limiter and a parallel compressor to try to push that as much as possible. Got the push it. All right, so there's that. Make a bass, make it a bass. Turn the uh, the tempo all the way to negative 75. Did play and key, set it as mono right there. Filtered the hell out of the whole thing. Cut out the highs, some of the mids. Um, I added serum effects rack. I use this one preset called bass demon, demon. Try to add, I'm probably add, should add more distortion to it. Um, but I was able to get the low end from there. I could filter a bit more. So got that there. So then this one. So this creepy ass sound. Um, kept the snare short. How do you trap music? <laughs> the 808 snare. Got it. With the web modulator, negative 75, snare two, put in auto chord, put it to notes five with a feel of 50%. So this is what gives you kind of uh, almost, it's almost like an arpeggiator. So instead of all the notes hitting at the same time, it's like if your finger just went -da -ding, -da -ding, on the keyboard, like one following the other. And then this one was like another kind of melodic section. So basically turn that into a bell. A lot of reverb, echo, serum effects using the lead faint preset. I'm trying to remember from which pack. Oh yeah, from ambient panorama. Didn't do too much on the effects. I'm barely running anything on it. Maybe just a little bit of distortion and reverb. So came up with this that was tough bro that was tough so why don't you guys try it? <laughs> Take a snare and just make shit out of it. So cool. I have that. Let me go to a project. I will show you something that I worked on that's not just a snare. So I'll go. We'll have a palette cleanser is what we'll do. Uh, let's see here. Where are my Serato projects? Okay. Sample flip time. Not quite. Not quite. Just a snare. I'm just a snare, just a snare. I'm just a snare. Call, you got to hold us, son. You got to let me have my palate cleanser, bro. Think about it. I just made a, I tried to make a beat out of just one sound, one snare. <laughs> that was the, just beats. There you go. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So with this one. I'll kind of show all the stuff that I have on here. Or you know what? I'm just going to play it out. See what happens. Might sound like shit. Who knows?
palate cleanser. sections. So there's there's that track. It was something I was cooking up this morning and got an arrangement to it. Yeah. Ah, let me know. Yeah, Lou, shit. Give me a heads up, man. I can I can try to do like a remix kind of flip on that. Word. <laughs> Appreciate it. I already know, like I still have a couple things I have to do. Like I know that in this section, I have to come with like one more little transitional sound from here to here just to make that a little bit um, smoother there um, I got to do this little automation little adjustment to not have one of my plugins saturate the sound so much so it goes in a little bit smoother from there some volume automation in this section here but it's it's pretty much there I'm like 90% there for that 
then one more palette cleanser and i'm gonna try to flip um a wild sample from mr uh call here um this is other one this is one we did during the stream a while back but i finally like got an arrangement pretty much for it so let me get that situated too again if you're just joining um and you didn't hear the whole make a beat out of a snare part all good <laughs> but i basically use throttle studio if you haven't used it they got a free trial jump on it jump on it um if you get stuck answer um i try to answer questions people in the chat try to help each other out um do i make soulful house yeah yeah funky house soulful just kind of whatever i'm in the mood for is that kind of like your um kind of go-to like your style that you um like messing with <laughs> um david asks what's the difference between splice and somatic and which one do you recommend the difference is one company makes all their stuff um splice is kind of like the grocery store for samples um <laughs> yes i try to make soulful snares too um it's the it's dependent so like cymatics has certain you know what let me just try to pull up the site let's do this cymatics okay so depending on what you're trying to get it's going to be different sounds but this is all within their own ecosystem so there'll be some that are you know trap melodies you might need something that's just guitar loops so there's not a good and bad or good or bad it's just what what are you what are you looking for what what are you doing what do you need splice the same thing grocery store of sounds is just um, different artist as opposed to Cymatic's own thing is the biggest difference. But same thing, different sounds, different people stuff. But they're all samples that you get, so they're both like big sound grocery stores. If that makes sense, David. Have you messed with the uh, studio, Cole? And uh, I gotta welcome you in proper, sir. And everybody else, thanks for jumping on. And again, excuse, you know, I'm trying to like just, uh, I know some people were kind of hit me. I was like, hey, I thought you started at 6.30. I started to notice that people are still trying to get out of work, wherever that. So I was like, you know what? Let me bump the time up or time back a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. So um, if you guys are liking a little bit later start time, let me know. Yeah, I can show you the automation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you, um, have you been messing with Studio and you were having a little bit of issues on the automation? I think I did some automation on this track, actually. So I can show you. Cool. I'm going to make a really easy scene. And let me copy this. <laughs> I like that, Lou. <laughs> he goes, this beat is automating my feet. As it should. <laughs> as it should. Okay, so let me find just a uh, portion on the scenes here. Nope. Scene six. Nope. Out there. Perfect. Okay, scene five. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to call this automation filter. I, that's ex You read my mind, sir. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is the sample right here. I'm going to solo this. So first step, first step to automate. We want to automate the filter. 
We want to automate the filter of this entire track, this entire sample in this scene right here. And Cole, if anything gets confusing, you just let me know. Safe space here. I'm not going to throw you out. So you're good. You're good. We're, here, we're all here to learn. Learn, have fun, make cool shit. Yeah, I uh, appreciate it. Uh, this sample was in Tracklib. Shout out to Tracklib. The dopest site to clear samples. Licensing, very cheap. There's my plug. Okay, so we have to click on the robot. Mr. Ro Mr. Roboto, right here. Click on Mr. Robot. So he turns purple. He's like, all right, fam, I'm ready to automate some, some stuff here. So if I want to automate the sample itself as opposed to a single queue, this is where everybody messes up. It's right here, this one. This will do the filter automation for the track. What will happen sometimes is right now, this pad is highlighted. Domo arigato, Mr. Robot. Oh, wakarimasu This. Hai, sugoi. Sugoi. All right. So right now, if I try to automate, I got to click here to automate this. And don't overthink. Yes, sir. Don't overthink it. So I clicked the whole track. Filter. So remember, everything on the right is for the track itself. This is for each pad. And the way that you know is right above it. It tells you what pad you have actually selected on this side so far. So I'm going to hit filter here. And we can tell that we're at zero because this is at zero or what they call unity. And we have it zero here. So now I want to do a low pass automation from bar number one to bar number four. So what I did is I created a little dot or they call it a node. I call it plotting your points. So I'll create a plot, uh, a plot here, go to number four. I'm going to create another little dot here. Now I'm going to click and hold and drag this down. So you see how I'm starting to get this whole shading issue going on right here. That's letting you know that you're creating this filter. So if I go to bar three, bar two, you're seeing it increase. I'm creating this kind of like downhill. So now we can just do it in practice or we can hear what's going on. And you can see that this is automatically moving it. We have it in purple. And we can see this moving down. Is that making more sense, Cole? Let me let me know in the chat. So now I take I turn off the automation robot to go back into my other view mode. And then what's up, Alvin? What's the deal? So say I want to make this a little bit longer and then from bar five and eight, like we'll go a little bit more in depth on this filter. So now we have the filter from this one to bar five to bar or bar four to bar five. So we're still low here, still low, still low, still low. And I'm going to bring this up right here. Not no problem. Yeah, that's that's the goal, man, is trying to make it easy because sometimes you try to figure it out and you just don't know. So that's why I'm here to try to help out. Yeah, no, no problem. So we can do a filter like that. Um, you can also filter the scenes out as well, um, which can get a little tricky if you're moving things around. So say we have that filter there. And for example, say I don't want to hear like these drums. I can do what's called a mute automation. So I'm going to mute, I'm going to mute the drums on bar four. So I'm going to hit the robot here. Can't see it too much. All right, let me do this. There we go. That better. So I'm going to click on the whole drum track and I'm going to create a mute on bar four right here. Right there. Now I have to remember, I see this going all the way across means that the mute is on and it tells me. 
So it's going to mute this whole thing if I'm not paying attention. All I want to do is have the mute happen in this little portion here. So I have to make sure I create another automation point here to turn it off. So now it's only on here, goes down, and we're back with the drums. So now we'll hear it in context of this. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So that's how you do a little bit of automation there. Does that make it a little bit more comfortable for you, Cole, on that? So, so let me go back to this scene here. I'm, I'm trying to see if I did some more automation. So that was the same scene, yeah. So what I did was, at first we had four bars. I decided to extend it another four so that I can let the filter stay on a low pass from five to eight here. So as you can see, and there's going to be two modes. So you might not know about this mode here, which is if you click on this, it's called bar view. So this is the mode that they used to have only where it's just a bunch of bars, almost like a bar graph in a sense. And you can just click on it and move it up and down. But since I did the points, this is the other way that it looks from there. And this is the same scene. Yeah. I just called it automation scene. Helpful tip. Um, Label your scene so you know what's going on. I pretty much know, I figured out how I was going to do everything, but typically I start running into making a bunch of scenes. So it's definitely helpful if you label them. Labeling is key. So let's go back into here. Close this there like that. Okay, let's do this here. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Perfect. Okay. This is a perfect automation thing. I've been having scene 12. I don't even know what it sounds like. <laughs> All good. So I called this one uh, mod scene, uh, which just stands for modulation scene. So what I did with this one, let me go back. Let me find it. There it is. So I did a filter mod scene. <laughs> Dang it, where did you go? That was there, that was there, that was there. See, I should have labeled my shit even better. Oh, because I did the automation in Arcade. That's what it was. That's what it was. So, again, I will reveal all my ingredients. I don't give a shit. So, I use the Light Beams Note Kit. Their arpeggiator. Add a lot of crazy, uh, just turn all the knobs up basically for that. What do you put? I haven't, uh, on the master. I didn't put anything on there yet. Haven't done any of that yet. So I'll usually worry on the master after everything. Number one thing is creating. So some people kind of trip up when they're like, oh, I see this in the red, this and that. I'm in creating mode. I could give two shits on that after I have everything together. Then I start trying to balance all the all the volumes. Remember, put on different hats, put your creator hat on, just start making shit. Then you can put your engineer hat on from there. Um, usually in here, I'll just kind of keep this pretty much basic. I'll just use these three and just kind of adjust the taste and kind of let your ears be your guide. So for arcade, I did a I put a web modulator on the track, and this is a stock effect in Serato to get to it. Go to EQ. Wub modulator, low pass filter. 
That's what that stands for. And so I told it to automate at certain points. So I'm going to click on the robot so you can see. Of course, it's going to take its sweet time. Do you master your own beats or do you ask? Um, I master my own stuff. Now, I'm not saying I'm the shit on it because I'm definitely not. But I, I do my own stuff. But you can. You can take it to somebody and do it. I've, I've done it a couple times here and there. If I was just didn't have the time and want somebody to do it. Um, yes, I'll use um, Ozone 9. I'll use that. Um, I did a pay or a rent to own through Splice. It's uh, again, um, you don't need a bunch of plugins. Use your ears, but it does help. I think it's like four ninety nine or five hundred. But I do it where it's like payment plan, twenty five bucks a month on it. So let me click on this robot. Again, don't get plug in crazy on there. <laughs> just use what you need. Don't just start buying plugins just because someone told you. Okay, so. The emotional attachment is too powerful for me to master by. So you can, if you kind of want to, you can, if you look at it like that, David, as far as he goes, the emotional attachment, it's too powerful for me to master by myself. It can be, you know. <laughs> so what modulator? I'm telling the modulator to turn on at different times. So you can see it's off here. Let me just solo that. <laughs> See how this is turning on and off? And I'm changing the rate of it. So then I have that automated. So that's how we modulate that section. That sound. I automate a lot. That's just my nature. Um don't let automation scare you. I gotta I gotta give a big shout out to uh Mr. <laughs> Mr. Last Call. That used to be his 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 Freddy Krueger was that damn automation, but he's starting to make it his his buddy, his good old buddy. Cause I'm his friend, automation friend. that funky funky music does the kick have a delay um no but i put a little bit of nope not even swing uh 
Nope. No delay on it. This little kick might have a little bit of it. So, yeah. So, let me see. I know Call sent me something. Sent me something here. Let me see. Mr. Sample King over here. Forgot to ask you, Cole, uh, where are you coming from, sir? U.S., other country, let me know. Been having some cats from the U.K. chiming in, too, so shout-outs to the U.K. And shout-outs to the U.K. Oh, you know what you do? Um, Somebody told me that Serato had the... Uh, oh, I got to do... I'm going to show my beat breakdown. That's what I should have did. Okay. My Rasta Route 3. There we go. Already had it saved, so I'm not going to freak out. Not here. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, no delay on the kick. Um, again, that challenge earlier, ooh, that was a, definitely a mind. Um, I know I could have went a little bit more on it, but yeah, that one was tough. That was a tough one. I had to really mess around with some ideas in my head. So this was the week three sample. Let me go to Discord real quick. Play it. Shout out to Automated Metis for sticking with it. I know the first go around was kind of tough, but this, that last one you did was fantastic, man. Good shit. So let me play it real quick here. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, that thing, man, he's been on point. Um, yeah, Ross has been dope. Um, I was going to mention it on the past on the past stream, but I had met him years ago, and he had the dopest like business card. It was a coin that had his name and content. It was like a gold coin, like a legit gold coin. And I was like, yo, that's like the best business card I've ever seen in my life. So shout out to Ross Um uh, But he's been killing it. He's been killing it on the stream. It's been awesome. Um, Alvin asks, um, is it better to add acapellas in automation scene or in the song scene? Oh yeah. So that one is a very tough call for me. Um, I typically have done it where I'll set it up as a scene now, because you have 16 shops, you can really fine tune like the hits of everything. If you already have it gridded out very easily, you can still do the add audio and it should be fine. I think it's depending on if you're having issues one way, you can go the other way. I typically will do it in the in the track scene, but for some of them, if I'm just going to go all the way across with no issues, um, I'll just put it on uh, just the add scene here in the song view. That's what I'll typically do. So I will play this flip, do a quick little breakdown on it, and then uh, let's see how this new sample is. And again, thank you guys for staying on the stream. Again, if you got questions, let me know. It's not just going to be me trying to glorify anything I do here. It's just um, I'm going to keep making shit. You got questions? Let me know. Funny snare jokes? Let me know. Let's keep it moving. <laughs>
Yeah. Um, for the little... So, also, on the automation, I tend to do a lot of mute automation, and you can tell that I did some type of automation. Usually, if there's anything mute-related or solos, you're going to see this kind of highlighted in purple right here, letting you know, hey, some shit happened here. There, there, and there. So, that little stringy part, and I used Arcade for that. And again, I, I'm like that magician that shows all the shit other magicians do, so I don't give a shit. Um, I use the Days Go By little kit. Um, why is this so goddamn big? Sorry. On there. It had really dope guitars. So it did have some kind of wild shit in there. Um, and then I just had to do quite a... I had to cut the lows out. Did some boosting on here. On that. And that was pretty much how I... Like that little hook section just did mute automations. So I muted these drums because I wanted to have more impact when the sample came back in. Oh. I would say it would help if I unsolo that. So this drum break here, I added a bunch, a bunch of reverb on there. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should just do both, have both chats up or just stick to Twitch. Um, I think Corners was telling me Twitch. Let me, let me know SFT. I'll, I'll take everyone's recommendations. Um... So I took this drum break and added a shit ton of, no, not, nah, I take that back. Wasn't a shit ton of reverb. Um, mix was 24, did a long decay on it, but I didn't cut out a lot of low frequencies. So if I didn't have, if I didn't have that, it would sound like this, which it already had some reverb in it. I just low pass filtered it. And then with the, uh, the extra or the the reverb well cat got my tongue on that one i just want to add a little bit extra on that so now the the bigger drums come in so so yeah um any questions on that let me know Silence in the building. What's up, man? What are you snare? <laughs> yeah. What I'm snared of is like not making a not was not being able to make a beat out of the snares. So I'll I'll do a recap on it here in a little bit on that because um, it was very very interesting. The snare crow. Oh shit, son. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's been like SFT fucking killing it. Burnt, silence, Lou, call. You guys are the. I don't the I was going to call you the repugnants, but I don't think that makes sense. The pun kings. <laughs> yeah, we had Snare Nato on there. Um, yeah. No, I appreciate it, Alvin, man. Much love, man. It's, it's all love, dude. It's just. I like seeing the community jump in here. Again, I try to help out as much as I can. I, I enjoy using it. Um, yeah, and, and helping other people try to get better at it and not want to throw it through a fucking window like with any other doll or any, anything else anyone uses. Um, I think um, people don't give it enough of the hour to kind of put in to get it going. Um, and, and again... Um, I would recommend once you feel comfortable enough, man, start jumping on discord and trying to do some of these little beat challenges. I will say as far as if you, if you are jumping into doing anything beat battle related or whatever, just some rules to go by one rule. Don't make it three minutes long. Try not to make it two minutes long. Try to get it like right at a minute and minute, minute and a half. I would definitely recommend learning how to make 
a full beat that are a minute done, like a minute complete, because then you'll know how to actually arrange your songs that are much longer. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Damn, bro. Okay, I got to read this one. Okay. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would recommend to try to stick to a minute, especially if you learn how to make one minute tracks and give them like the full arrangement as far as like learning to get into like placements with commercials or things of that nature. It'll make you really, really good on learning how to do that because that's what they're going to ask for, like 30 seconds, a minute, things of that nature. So, uh, <laughs> Ren goes, Sarah, sorry, I left the chat for a second. I tripped and hit my head on a snare. Now I think I might have a percussion. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's play this sample here. <laughs> Crazy. Pop James is the goat, bro. I like how it switched right when the sample changed. Shout out to the Serato team with the dope edit. in my head for this drum and bass for that I don't know I just I just do I just I just do man I'm straight up stacking track lib uh, credits so if someone doesn't know what track lib is let me know in the chat I can try to do a little brief explanation of this so basically, it's a grocery store for sample for records or records you can sample without worrying about, oh, shit, I can't clear it because I can't because I can't find the the publishing team from 1962. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now you can clear it. it tells you what category it is. So usually anything in the C license category is 50 bucks to license it out. So I know some people haven't seen the behind the scenes on it. So these are songs that I have cleared here. So again, fully monetizable. So if people use them, because I had them use them for YouTube videos and stuff like that, um, I can get these monetized. I clear them all out. Um, registering them is pretty simple. They send you a contract with the 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 writers and everything that so when you register you give them all your all the percentages that are um, stated in that uh, PDF and then that's it you're you're good to go. I know I went really fast on that, but just know that this isn't an insane thing where you got to hire like three damn lawyers to get it all situated. That's the beauty of using Tracklib. So. Let's move that sample here and let's do this. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we have that. Again, if you want to kind of dip your toes into flipping samples and stuff with us in the uh, Serato's Kitchen, man, go for it, bro. Again, I got a shout out Automated Menace. He was a little nervous, felt kind of some kind of way from the last one, but he, he killed it, man. He came back like a champ. He strained up his tie and said, let's get this going, man. So, okay. So let me bring in the sample here. Let's drag it in. So let's see how it's going to register this. 
I know I'm trying to get all the amb just ambient portions. Oh yeah, Bong James is the shit. The shiz nits. Trying to get ideas in my head already. I like that little section there. I didn't call. I tried to pull it up on my email, but I didn't see it. I'm actually not going to go, I'm not going to use any of this, like everything that doesn't have drums. Yeah, it does, bro. It does silence. I do agree. Silence goes, weird, man. The music reminds me of childhood. Yeah. See how this sounds like at 160. I'll put it right there. There we go. Trying to get a break beat in my head. So, silence, when do you turn 21? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, we have to try to guess your age. Were you alive when Jordan won his rings? Four. Yeah, bro, I was born in 85. What it do, man, is what it do, what it do, what it do. Yes, sir. 
I remember that Reggie Miller game with him versus the Knicks. Oh, man, that was such a crazy game. back and kind of adjust some chops. Yeah, I thought I'd I had sent a stream notification on there. I don't know, restream's been a little goofy with me like on uh YouTube updates. So apologies on that menace. Filling an idea up, I'm definitely gonna keep this and go this route. On it, yeah, I'm going for DMB SFT. Absolutely, it just kind of, just kind of called my name to do it. Do some panning here on the right. So typical audio, I'll just kind of build the idea, then go back, do all the goofy weird shit, and then keep it moving. This sample here, it's a little bit low. So I'm gonna bring this up a bit on there. Yeah, just I don't know. Been been into drum and bass again. Um, used to listen to it. That that's used to be like the first style I used to learn how to mix. I just thought if I could mix that, I could mix anything because it just always sounded fast as shit. Oh, that's why that's why I put that there. Okay. Okay, so that's there. I messed that up. Try to do the first two bars and do copy paste and put it all on there. All right, so that's right there. Okay, so what I can do if you need to copy paste whole thing, um, do command 
A on Mac, Command A to copy it all, or highlight all those. Command C to copy. Go to the next bar, Command V to paste it. And I think I fucked up. Let's see. Oh no, it's all there. Uh, I thought it did it all. Okay, so I did that one there. Oh, because it's copying too. Not the whole thing. Okay, now. Okay. before in a track I made years ago, but I like it in this context here. Du, 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 du. Again, man, a shout out to you, man. Like, again, I'm going to tip my hat to you. Like, um, I won't go, you know, super personal on it, but um, the fact that you did the... I'm going to shout you out. You can be embarrassed. I don't, I don't give a shit. I got to give props where props are deserved. So, you did the sample challenge, which you've never done before. Um... The first one was really tough on you, but I got to give you a big fucking shout out, dude. Minus that. <laughs> I got to give you a big shout out, man, because it can be tough. Um, you know, sample wasn't your particular that you were comfortable with. You still gave it a shot. You still did it, you know, and then you came back and you knocked it out the park. You know, with this last one too, um, you you went, you know, you went uh, fucking Rocky three, whichever Rocky he goes to the, the to the cabin, and then starts like you know beating shit up with like his fist. He's like, oh, you know what? Who needs a chainsaw? I'm just gonna use my fist and break all these trees. So, um, <laughs> I know that was like the worst analogy for you making a flip, but I think that's what I thought of. Um, so just know, <laughs> I compared you uh doing a sample challenge to uh rocky three or four do um training montage so yeah Sell this down here. Nice. So again, I I think some people forget to actually utilize. This is actually kind of not cheat code, but this is definitely a tool that there we go. I was trying to get my damn Madden pen. So this right here can be very useful. If I didn't use this for that snare challenge, I would have been shit out of luck for sure. So originally tempo, I have this regular tempo, which can go really fast. I don't want that in this scenario here. So I just went half on the tempo. So now I get a more elongated um, sound right there, which is what I want. So now I can try to adjust this mix of reverbs. I really want this to have a long tail so i want to keep it in this mix quite a bit absolutely sft nailed it so now it's just kind of deciding when i want to bring it in oh 
Oh, and I forgot to do one shot mode for that. Uh, I don't like the placement on there. Probably on B2. If you get stuck, kind of just sing it in your head. Mr. Call gonna go house on. Huh? Put that right there. <laughs> Still fucking killing it. So Burn goes, how do you know when a snare is at your front door? It doesn't know when to come in. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Damn it. Y'all all killing this shit today. Boom. Funny jokes, funny puns, helpful, help, helping other people out. Popping champagne, breaking glass, all kinds of shit, man. Fucking doing awesome. Oh, okay. I know why, too. Um, it's coming in with all its power on the front end. I actually wanted to fade in. So, some people are like, oh, I want to fade in stuff, but I don't know how. And I freaking hate automation because it gets me nervous. So, all you got to do, go to attack on whatever, you know, chop you're on and adjust the attack time. There's your fade right there. Oops, I just hid that. So watch when I change the attack time. So basically, this is where you're actually triggering the sound. So if I move this all the way, you're not going to hear anything. Or I take that back. It's like fading in 10 seconds in. So I want it to actually fade in as, as opposed to just being like right in your face. Pause, I guess. That was a, a pausable statement. There we go. But, but now, because it's fading in, I have to bring up that the volume of that sample a bit more. There we go. Yes, sir. Sometimes they can't, everything can't hit you like a ton of bricks. It just can't. So I'm going to go here and find vocals because I'm a sucker for very reverby. And I'm making all these damn chops for some, no, uh, some apparent reason here. Oh, yeah. I got to do, I have to save shit. Always, always. Rule number one save your shit. You got to. What's rule number two? Make sure you save because you remember rule number one. Exactly. Exactly. Come on. I need to. That might work, but I don't want to definitely bring that down for sure. could possibly work that could possibly work interesting okay okay Take the sink off of that and bring it up. <laughs> What's the snare's favorite sport? Basketball, because it likes to dribble. I'm gonna put these on the, the Laffy Taffy Laffy Taffy wrapper. No. I think I'm definitely gonna go goldie vimes on this so I'm take the low cut off of here 
I just gotta adjust some of this resonance because it's a little too much in your face. Definitely is gonna be short little like staccato bass. Staccato means like stab. Nothing like super long. Pause. Weird. Boom, doom, 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 doom. Almost like a pluck. Menace. adjusted but I think how kind of notes okay so let's do so I have that there that and that there I'm gonna add this other save 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 appreciate it bro uh, let me go to my drum kit generator, my UVI, because I know there is one drum program in there that sounds killer on here. Killer, killer, killer. So open browser. Yes, I do. There we go. Soul drums. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if you've ever seen this SFT. This uh, program, I don't know if you're on the stream when I was kind of showcasing this one. The drum sounds on this are ridiculous. So if you've seen it, SF, let me know. Let me know if you've ever seen this uh, plugin before. It's pretty insane. So you can actually put sequences on here. It's called a UVI workstation um, or the company's called UVI. Um, this was like 70 bucks. I think it's at a hundred bucks now, but what it is, is you can, cr it has like a lot of dope patterns. You can play them all out. Let's see here. I'm playing it on my keyboard. Let me go into keyboard cam. Cause you guys haven't seen that cam. I mean, it has a whole damn kit in there. So what I like about it is we can do these sequences and I'm going to go to the break section or I'll just, I'll just play the sequences. So right now it, it matches the tempo. So I know this sounds insane right now. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. And you can go back and fine tune each one um, as far as like the volume, sensitivity of it, the compression, every single little item on here. And it's all in here. Every little part of that. So what's killer about it? Um, yes. So there's a MIDI patterns within that program. So what I do, what what I like about it is so say I like that pattern. I can take the sequence. It has export MIDI here. Click on MIDI. Now I can drag it in. Now I have it here. So 
So I'm gonna make another copy of that here. Command A, go to five, that there. Oops, should have did Command A, Command A, Command C, Command V. Hopefully that did it. Did it, yeah. <laughs> And so a certain section, so say I wanted to add another kick, put it right here. I can just do a velocity change here. So yeah, you can really customize it. So as far as like, it's almost like a, um, you're the create a drum here on the make um but just with the full drum kit which is insane so i know this bass is like super in everybody's way we side chain this you know what I'll keep that off. Let me do a reverb on here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, bro, I love that um, ability to do quick patterns. So let me save this so that I can showcase that actually. So I have that saved. I got a good starting point. I always like starting my flips here because usually I end up getting them done much, much faster. So I know Cole sent me something. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna take it. I might not do the wheel. I might, I don't know. Um, my brain is a little fried, but I think I'll just put genres that I like anyway. So it's like, House, boom bap, uh, dance hall. Um, so let's see. All right, he put that on there. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Oops, let me showcase this. Jersey Club. Right here. yeah definitely a lot of different patterns um i've been trying to get in the mode of like creating my own preset pattern i made a couple like uk like gares drum presets for myself um again if you guys haven't man save your own drum kits bro like you save yourself a lot of time save i got all these different presets that i've done super helpful so you can get your ideas going Super, super helpful. All right, call. Let me let me fry my brain a little bit more here. So, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Genres, genres, genres. Oh yeah, let me take off the stupid little ads that are here because they can be annoying as hell. I don't know if you've done this SFT to make. Um, Sample to me, uh, yeah, they are very hectic. The program, I agree 100%. Um, shout out to MJ Cole, um, who I watched a YouTube video of him like making garage drums. I don't know if you've seen it before. Um, the way he does it is he programs everything at like around 88 BPM, then bumps it up to 130 with the shuffle. So that was that definitely a really, really good video. Okay. Let me add some genres to this. So we got house. Boom bap. Jersey club. I won't do cumbia this time. we we'll pick one more. Mm 
I think I might just stick with those three. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. Perfect, here we go. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's what the wheel wanted. Okay, perfect. Yeah, see, if you wanna give yourself some fun, SFT and crew, um, go to wheelofnames.com, add genres. Last time I did samples here, clicked the wheel and ran with it. The wheel, <laughs> the wheel has spoken, sir. The wheel has spoken. Hi. It has spoken. All right. So let's see what we got. So we're already, we're already at this tempo here. Uh, let me just have a hi-hat here. I know some guys haven't done the wheel, so once they do the wheel, they'll start feeling the, a little bit of the pressure on it. All right, I already got that. Bring this down a little bit. Just want to have some top loop to get me going here just a little bit. And then let me do... already got a drum preset here. Again, thank you guys for being on. Being on here. You know, jamming out with me, joking around awesome if you want to if you, if you if i got you motivated to work on some shit man load up serato studio get after jump back in if a question pops up man let me know okay where is i just had my sorry for the silence there uh, do, 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 do. oh speaking of silence if you're still on here um thank you for letting me know about the uh the ninja turtles shredder's revenge game that game is fucking awesome that game is fucking awesome. I've been spending some time on that thing. Reminds me of the OG one. They did a really good job on it. Yeah, dude, it it's fucking awesome. I where did I put my damn Oh, duh. There we go. Drag that in. That's there. All right, let's listen to this thing again. Gotcha. <laughs> Probably just going to get the little stabs on the piano. That one. Definitely, he definitely went to computer school. Oh shit! Speaking. Of. Okay, shout outs to call. As far as figuring out computer shit, because that was definitely a tough one, but I'm I'm very proud of him. I'm super proud. You know, he's like, I can't get the zip shit to go back to RAR, or I want RAR to go back to zip. It's driving me crazy. I sent him one little tool. He went. I, I taught that boy how to fish. School. Good job, Call. Good job. Good job. Should've just unfavored all these and just do the chops how I wanted to. Boom, boom. Unfavorite that. Okay. There we go. I know. I know. 
I heard it. When I heard it, I'm like, yeah, Call would send me that to make a boom bap. I knew he would. I, I just had I had a feeling. I had a feeling Call was going to send me a boom bap sample, but the wheel has spoken. I know. Exactly. Exactly. The one that, oh, the last time it was, I had to do something trance. That shit kicked my ass. I, could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I would have rather landed on death metal rock and <laughs> what had a better chance. <laughs> yeah, drill sounds like it would work too. This almost like would be almost like bass house. Okay. Same first tone. Okay, okay. Ding, ding. Want to hear the most annoying sound? All right, let's see here. Oops, wrong one here. Do, 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 to fix. Definitely want to have some echo going on here. That's like way too fucking long for my taste right now. All right, there we go. A little bit longer there. Ooh, that sounded like hot garbage. Hard garbage. Okay, so I'm going to do another sample or another drum deck, but I'm just going to add a bunch of wub wubs, wub wubs and wow wows. I'm going to call them Wubbies. Wubbies. That's what I'm going to call them. Wub wubs and wow wows. And little, and little funky, little funky sounds. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Too strong. Not quite. 
Not quite, not quite, not quite. Let me go through. Do, 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 do. Is that the one shots, maybe? Something more. I know there's a lot in there. Just trying to make sure it fits in context with it. Damn funk is dope. Damn funk is dope. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. You got to have synth one shots, man. Got to. Got to. Actually, I'm just gonna type in wub. I'm sure I have some. There we go. Okay, hold on. That part's not speaking to me like I would like it to. Dun 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 dun. There, let me do another. Let's see. I just, I just had that one drum there. Trying to add my little sparkles, my sprinkle, my sprinklies, my sprinklies and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Silence. I think some people, yeah. Um, Science like, I've listened to new Drake album to hear all the fuss. I hear it's house music. I like house's music. It has been remixed well into house mixes. I think it's cool for him to have a house album. Every hip hop artist I feel is allowed experimental albums. 
Yeah, same thing. Um, people gave uh, Kendrick a lot of flack about his new album. I'm like, why? Um, it's like, oh, because I want to have I want to hear humble on every single track. It's just not the case, man. Like, some albums just aren't that. No, it's like some stuff is how some stuff is kind of like Jersey Club kind of, but he was already kind of doing that. No, it's it's quite it's it's a lot of variety on it. Where is that? I know I got it. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> so one, again, once I hear Migos, Megan the Stallion, everyone do house shit, I'm like, okay, it's it's here. So now, however, it's gonna come through. It's gonna be where like people are like, oh fuck house. <laughs> I already I already know it. Go, it goes in cycles, man. It really does. I'm just glad I could play faster BPM stuff at certain spots. Instead of super slow stuff all the time. Yeah, once I hear future on house stuff, I'm like, okay, that's it. <laughs> now we now we put the the expiration date of when it's gonna last. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How many times you want to want to hear chipmunk stuff from him? It's just you gotta let people do the thing. This just is what it is. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, son. Let me see your body go nuts. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I've, some people were kind of on it, like not feeling. I'm like, dude, if it gives me more reason to play Jersey Club and House, fuck, let's go. I am cool with that. I'm like throwing Boom Bap and uh, Soka and Afrobeat. I'm cool with that. And Funk and Motown, let's go. I'm waiting for everybody to start doing Motown shit. Thank God Silk Sonic was doing stuff with that. They gave me an excuse to start going like Motown and shit. I do not like that. This one's a little tricky, man. Cause I, <laughs> I know Boom Bap. I can, I can knock this out. This house, it's, it's a little, little challenging. A little challenging. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie. I'm just going through like certain renditions in my head on. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that one, but I'm gonna try different chops on this one. take that off not a fan of that let me do you know what let me run this through something here oh nice 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 let me run it through a module let me see let me run it through a, a mr mod here Change the clap on there. Wubby wubs. Wub wub wubby wubs. Wubby wub wubs. That's so damn loud.
This one's tricky because it, it it definitely gives me base house vibes, and it's definitely a lot of one shot shit, one shot shit. Okay, so let's see. It's just making sense of all the one shot shit. That's the that's the tricky that's the tricky part. Because it gives me all that kind of vibe right there. Call me McDonald's. That would work. Add these little wubby wub wubs. It's gonna be a lot of like puzzle piece shit. Crazy reverb on that one. Give it a little echo hit. Oh, because I probably sped it up to a hundred. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make this shit work, god damn it. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. It's gonna feel like just a bunch of random shit, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this happen. What up, soundproof? <laughs> oh, dude. My library was dog shit. <laughs> but oh, so okay, I'm I'm glad you brought that up, SFT. So what I did, shout out to Cut Corners on this tip. Pause. Damn it. Okay. So what I did, because I had shit everywhere, it was terrible. I took like a week. And what I did is I first started off with splice. So what I did was, oh, good ear training on that burnt. Absolutely. Um, I would go to the kits. I would listen to them. And then what I would do is I would go to the, no, not the comment section. Where did I rename shit? Now I'm bugging. Oh, all right. Here we go. I would go to the comment section and I would type in what I thought that style was for whatever that sound is. And then I made a smart crate of it. So anything that I found in splice that I felt was cinematic, I went ahead and wrote it 
in the comment section. Then I made a smart crate. I made a smart crate that anything in the comments that says cinematic, everything goes in there. Bro, that made my life so much easier. So that's what I did. So anything that was like a Vox that I thought was Voxes, I just put it in the comment, Vox, and it went at it like that. Some of them I didn't because I was like, oh, these I kind of have a better idea. Yeah, I, and I and I had rarely used smart crates. Um, so I saw him. I think he was showing it as far as on, on Serato DJ. So I was like, well, shit, if you do it in Serato DJ, you can do it in here. So I was like, well, shit, why don't I just make smart crates with these sounds? And so that's what I did. And, that, and that's what helped. Um, I didn't do it in this section. I just ended up putting like all my sample packs that I thought were that style just within those sections so that I can jump to it pretty quickly. So like I did one that's like my favorite producers and just had their stuff in here too. Let's have a good idea from there. Yeah. Oh, but because I was I was a sound hoarder, bro. Like terrible, terrible. I'm surprised I I, I didn't have like 99 cats somewhere around here. Cause Jesus, man, it was ridiculous. Like cats and the newspapers from like 20 years ago. It's like Jesus. <laughs> so let's see what's in this funk. I'm just trying to make stuff. Make a beat. Nah, I'm good. My brain's fried. <laughs> My brain is fried. My brain is fried on that. My brain is fried at the moment. Okay, let me find. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody know where that came from. Suicide boy, bitch. There we go. <laughs> okay. Suicide boy, bitch. Suicide boy, bitch. <laughs> that was the GTA team. GTA theme, the San Andreas one. Suicide boy, bitch. Speed that up a little bit more. Suicide boy, bitch. Oh shit, okay. Put that as a sample. <laughs> Can you go boom bap with that same sample? Of course, call. Of course. I gotta change that to no. That's the right thing. Damn it. It has too much going on in there. It had too much going on there. I kind of liked it, though. I don't know why that's hilarious. Ain't nobody say you beat because we know you all alone. Suicide boy, bitch. Ain't nobody say you beat because we know you all alone. That kind of works. <laughs> it kind of works. I'm just having fun right now. Just messing around. That's what it's about. Just messing around with shit. It did sound like gangster chipmunks. It absolutely did. Oh, I'm going to say on this base house type of style, I'm going to save this real quick. Uh, base house attempt. Someone to really learn references from, and I'll play it because I'm not going to get monetized for shit. I don't, I don't care. Um, it doesn't really interpolate Robin S. It's the uh, Cut Corners did a good video on using the Korg. It's the M1 preset sound. That sound is in a bunch of shit. So let me do this one. So let's 
So like one that I'll uh reference that uh Joyride he actually takes um this one uh what's the what's the name of that track? What's the one that he sampled to? Wasn't hot drum. I'm trying to find it real quick just to show you guys. Cause he absolutely kills it on stuff. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Oh, you know what? Uh where was that song at? Sorry, he actually takes a sample from uh Method Man. And he just absolutely murders it. But now I can't remember the damn name of Oh, Madden. That's what it was. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. When I, first on the scene, niggas was I know Call's gonna know where that vocal comes from. Oh no, I wish. <laughs> uh, I wish, I wish, Lou, no. Yep, you got it. He absolutely murders us. Wanna learn bass house? Try to reference this shit. house he's kind of like the, the the gangster in that style like straight up so i first heard of him when he did a collab with um skrillex um what i learned in this in this reference section so he took um yeah the wubs are definitely wubbing absolutely so you hear that vocal like the fe the female vocal on there he just kept that looping and then just side chained that throughout so he turned it into basically a vox loop sample that he side chained like pretty pretty crazy on there it's like little water driplets sounds so what i learned because he would do certain techniques where he would filter everything, like high pass filter, and then go into the rest of the track. So like that part, he took the method man, muted everything else. So just kind of, you know, mute, do mute automation, basically. Back into it. There's a second drop here. Yeah, absolutely. Jack, I'm the fucking into the main course which is it's nuts it's it's a crazy track um and then another track that he did he did with skrillex and this is where i i learned i started kind of learning that i could do like double time or half time in a house track itself um 
Like this one too. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to go through shit that I like. <laughs> I'm telling you, find the shit you really like and then start trying to deconstruct it. Imitate it as much as possible. Then you'll start learning how to put your own spin on it. Yeah, exactly. 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 And then with us. Let's we'll start learning how you how to build your drops a lot better. Be exactly, bro. Exactly. Cause I hit him with a Again, it's a kind of back and forth. There you go, using Foley. Foley brake sound of a car. Um, yeah, great answer. Yeah, yeah. Answer and call, yeah. call and response, yeah. So there's a part where it really breaks down. I actually play this part a lot at the gym gig that I do on the weekends. Right here. So what I learned in that section is I had never thought of using like percussion as a melody. That's what kind of blew me away on this track was like, oh shit, he's taking like a percussion sound and turning it into a main lead. And then doing like a stutter, little stutter repeats of the vocal. You can hear little cop car sounds in the back of it. Gunshot as stabs. And then having that really crunchy 808. Um, yeah. Maybe a couple years back, I would have been like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. It just sounds like Transformers in a dryer for me. But now I'm like, okay, it does have a groove to it now it's just trying to analyze what I like how that how that goes and that was kind of like that that breakdown so yeah if you kind of want to learn that man he's like the G in that like ridiculous ridiculous that's where I actually started learning how to use more Foley because um with his stuff, he's kind of notorious for using a lot of car sounds in his sound design for make for the tracks that he makes. So it's like a lot of car sounds, um, little car blips. Um, I think I'll do I'll do one more. Kind of starts off with the car sound. Some violent content. Parental discretion is advised. I don't give a shit. I'm a Joyride fanboy. I don't care. <laughs> He really helped me learn like that style, like really trying to develop it. Cause I'm still a newbie on that style, but I really like it. That little siren, I'm trying to remember what, uh, I don't, that's not Star Trek. I'm trying to remember where that specific. There is a technique that I didn't learn that I have implemented in studio. I'll, I'll, when I get to it, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys. And then you guys were like checking this out while I kind of break this down, like what I learned from it too. So hopefully you're, you're taking something from it. That's what it was. All right, yeah. 
I knew it was like from Star Trek. I knew it had to be from there. Again, this is a dope artist to, to learn from. Batman scoop sound. little technique right there that's where i really started learning implementing like mutes because it's like it hits you really quick and then you're like oh shit like it just hits you like a, a ton of bricks <laughs> boom back into it like that's so clutch it's almost like a mini build-up drop all in like that one little second that fat man vocal scoop be like has it really stretched and then i think you can implement like using stutter fader to do the little chops like that so yeah i thought i'd share that with you guys as far as trying to learn a certain style that's yeah he's he's amazing he's amazing at that um so yeah it's crazy um shit i wish uh yeah well actually we have some spots they're more like underground more than anything but there's like a crew that that kind of throws those things together like the yeah we we have we have some stuff like that but definitely not super super popular i know man like i'm looking at times like oh shit it's time for me to rap, <laughs> rap. <laughs> i know call wanted to hear me do a boom bat flip but i'm just kind of out of it at the <laughs> at the moment but um man stream was fun um oh i'll, I'll do <laughs> i'll open back with the justice snare just just so i can show silence because i didn't do it clickbaity i didn't do it clickbaity i didn't do it clickbaity um i actually tried to do it where every sound was a snare like all of this was a snare so this was a snare. Like you, as you can tell, <laughs> everything's a snare. Everything. So I turned a snare into a kick drum. And this was just a snare. So it's just a snare. Trying to turn that into a hi-hat. I should have filtered that a little bit more. Because I didn't. There we go. And then I turned the other snare into a shaker. This one like a little kind of medium kick. So those were the drums. Again, all snare sounds. I thought it was crazy. They even had that. Um, made a little melody out of the snare. Or bass. Yeah, I saw that silence. I'm actually really curious. I'm going to try to jump on that snare. Rip. Yeah, dude, you guys were killing it today on that. So, that sounds kind of shitty by itself. So that was try to turn that into bass and then turn this other snare into a chord. Again, this was a snare, not anything else. Just that. And then the other one. Try to make like a weird little perk, little percussion type of loop. Which I can tell has like a lot of delay to it. Mm -hmm. 
That's actually perfect. That's actually perfect. <laughs> oh man, that was that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I got. I'll give you guys. A, I'll give you guys a speed. Run. <laughs> there we go. See, I gotta go where you're at, Silent. So he goes. I'm hosting a full week of fighting game events locally in the community with streams included. That's dope. Once the week is, man, it's all good. I'm going to try to tune in to that for sure, man. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I got I to gotta check that out. Yeah, I still got to go by uh, the pinball spot. Yeah, yeah. Send it, send it my way, dude. Absolutely. Okay. So, with that... It's going to be the rap for me over here. This was fun. It was insane. It was crazy. I, I was I was nervous. I ain't going to lie. I was like, damn, I got to try to make something with the snare and not sound like complete dog shit. Yeah, that one's a, it was, it was tough. But throw yourselves a challenge, man. Like, appreciate it, Burnt. Um, yeah, man. Thank you, SFT, man. Shout, shout outs to you, bro. Shout outs to you. Um, again, I'm going to try to download the... The new beta, test that out. Um, again, you guys are awesome, dude. Like, I love the, I love the community aspect of this. You guys keep um, making me enjoy what I do here. Um, and glad to see that I help motivate some people to to keep it going. You know, I, I run into those issues too, but it's good to kind of bounce ideas from everybody and just you know trying to release stuff. Again, well, I will say before I go, before I go, make your stuff. But man, whenever you can, release that shit. Straight up. Don't let your stuff be on your hard drive. Like where you just have a graveyard of songs, man. Do whatever you got to do with them and, and get them out there, man. Share them to the world. Like you never, you never know. You never know. So again, yeah, man, release it, bro. You, Because you never know. I would have never thought I'd find the, the people that like my stuff. <laughs> Silent said it's a maternity ward of beats. <laughs> if you got and if you guys are stuck or you're unsure of how to release your stuff, man, let me know. Like I've been there. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I, I've been there. Um I'll definitely try to work on a boom bat version of that. Um again, I'm Gons, Houston, Texas, JJ Media Studios, had fun with Serato Studio, joking about snares. You guys are fucking comedians. I love it. Um link for the yeah thank you thank you for that menace yeah definitely join the discord you guys have a great night keep cooking keep having fun don't give up we got a team here let's keep it moving you guys take care peace